Do you want to sound natural and fluent in English? Believe me, you desperately need collocations for that. And I just happen to know the best places where you can find them. Hey, my fellow English learner! Here's a recent post on Reddit from another English learner. I invite you to read this highlighted sentence and tell me if anything sticks out like a sore thumb. I mean, is there anything confusing or unusual? I'll wait. Okay, when I first read this sentence, I was like, what does ameliorate and how can you ameliorate English? If we look this word up in the dictionary, we'll learn that ameliorate is a formal word that means to make a bad situation better or less harmful. It's a synonym for improve. So the person wants to improve their English. But the thing is, nobody talks like that. Like, no native English speaker would take ameliorate and English and smoosh them together. Basically, if two words collocate, they're frequently used together. And if your goal is to use vocabulary in the most natural and clear way, you kind of have to pay attention to collocations. Phrase it is the tool I probably use the most. I've already made a video about it, so I'm not gonna go into detail right now, but basically you type a word or combination of words and get example sentences from different reputable sources. You may play with the filters on the left, like you can choose a tense or if the sentence should be a question, for example. Really useful. In my last video, I compared four major monolingual dictionaries and I stumbled upon a really cool tool in the Macmillan English Dictionary. It's especially useful if you need to learn more academic vocabulary for your work or studies, or if you need to write various reports, essays, or anything like that in English. I can probably make a whole video about this collocations tool, but for now, let's talk about the basics of how this thing works. You go to collocations, and then you can simply click on the word that interests you, or search for a word. Let's say you want to learn collocations with the word education. First, you'll find a bunch of adjectives that are used with this word and then a few verbs. The awesome thing is that you can quickly learn how education is used in different contexts. Like if it's education aimed at younger children, for example, then you'll have words like elementary and primary to choose from. Or if you want to talk about, let's say, university education, you can choose words like higher and tertiary. If you're studying for IELTS or TOEFL, this is your holy grail tool. The Macmillan Dictionary focuses only on the most frequently used collocations. So if a word combination is in this dictionary, you can be sure that people really talk or write like that. The next tool is Skell, and it's also pretty easy to use. You can find example sentences to see how a word is used in different contexts. And if you click on word sketch, you'll find collocations. They provide some context for different word combinations, which is great, but I'd probably like check any collocation offered to me in a dictionary or something, just to be sure. Another tool is called Ausdic. It works in a similar way and it's really nice and clear. You can find different sections with adjectives, verbs and nouns, but I especially love the separate section with prepositions because I look them up a lot. Do you know what else besides collocations will make you sound more natural and fluent? Speaking practice. And I talk about improving speaking fluency through a challenge in this video. 
Thank you so much for watching and see you next time with more awesome language content!